everyone and welcome to my channel where I share tips and tricks on how to use Office. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to add alphabet with numbers in Excel. And this is very useful when you want to add custom labels or codes or identifiers for your data. For example, you might want to add a department code next to every employee ID. Now, there are different ways to do this, but I'm going to show you the easiest and most flexible one. So let's get started. So you can see here that I have a very simple list of department code and the employee ID and I want to combine it all together so that I know which employee comes from which department. Now how do we do that? Well, very simple. First, press the equal sign and this is telling Excel that we are going to perform a formula. We want the department code to appear first so let's select the first one which is B4. Alright, and then we want to add the number next to it and for this we are going to use the end function the end function or the end sign here so just uh, press the end sign and then select the second one which is um, c4 all right and there you go now go to the first combined cell now now go to the bottom right hand corner of the cell now double click and this will auto fill the formula down to the subsequent cells and that's it. Imagine how easy and effective it is. Some of you might be wondering, okay, so this is great, but I want a bit of space between the code and the employee number. Is it possible to do so? Well, the answer is yes. And let me show you how this will be done. Now go to the first cell again, go to the formula sign. All right, now before we want to add a space between B4 and C4. Okay, so here, let's use the end function again. Now, Excel does not understand space, so if you type space, it will not work. So, in that case, you will need to type uh, end sign and then double quote, space, close double quote. Basically, any kind of sign or any kind of thing that is not a number, we will need to put them inside two double quotes so that Excel will understand and behave accordingly. All right, now hit enter and there you go. Now, if you want to autofill the formula down, okay, just double click and the formula is now being pushed down to the subsequent cells. And that's it. Happy learning and see you in the next video.